to guy saying and several more that came about the uh, HTML uh, holistic web development and in the holistic web development video I'm telling about the in the HTML what are style CSS so yeah we are learning about it this video is start to end and please like this video share from and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to all the notification bell also start to miss about any future latest videos about the holistic web development so without taking on any time let's move computer screen and let's do a coding with loving it so guys here you can see from over when we came about the html and in today's html video i am telling about the index styles for the css so yeah i am telling you about it so let's get started first of all let me tell you the full form of css now css is stands for cascading style sheet okay here the full form it's CSS saves a lot of work. It can control the layout of the multiple uh, web pages all at once. Okay. CSS styles and colors. Like you give the colors and the styles to your text using the CSS. Okay, like this. What is CSS? If you don't know, let me tell you. Cascading style series means that CSS is used to format the layout of a web page. With CSS, you can control the color, font, the size of text, the spacing between elements, how elements are positioned, and layout. What background images or background colors are to be used, different displays for different devices, and screen sizes, and much more. Tip. The word cascading means that a style applied to a parent element will also apply to a children element within the parent. So if you set the color of the body text to blue, all heading paragraphs and other text elements within the body will also get the same color unless you specify something else. The using CSS. CSS can be added to SMA documents in three ways. First, inline, internal, and external. What is the meaning of inline, internal, and external? First, inline. By using the style attribute inside the HTML elements. Okay, this is the meaning of inline, then internal. By using a style element in the head section, this is called the internal and external. By using the link element to link an external CSS file. The most common way to add a CSS is to keep the styles in the external CSS files. However, in this tutorial, we use the inline internal styles because this is the easier to demonstrate and easier for you to try it yourself. Okay, inline CSS. And inline CSS is used to apply a unique style to a single HTML element. For example, an inline uh, uh, CSS uses the style attribute of an element. The following sample sets the color, uh, text color of the H1 element to blue and the text color of the P element to red. Like here it is doing. This is called the inline. What is called? It's called the inline, inline CSS. Okay. Let me show you how. First of all, let me open my sublime text editor and when it will be open it what can i do here i make up a new file by the name of uh, i am making this file on my documents and i am giving my file names will be index.html and i am saving this file and then here i am writing html so my all code has been came here i am writing like, uh, like css and then here i am writing like h1 in h1 i am writing inline css so what is the meaning of inline css when you write inline uh, when you write in that html element in the html element when you write a style and in the style when you give the color to your text this is called the inline element okay and let me show you here dark red i give and then in the p tag i'm giving the style should be let me see and in the here i'm writing inline css.com okay and i'm giving him color should be red or the color should be blue now when I save it and when I go on the documents and when I open my HTML file, it should give me this type of output. Okay, here you can see it. And why did it give me this type of output? Because I give the dark red color to the dark red and blue violet. So that's why it gives me like this. Okay. So like that you can give the color to your text by using the inline CSS. Okay, by uh, okay, like that. So let's minimize it, let's minimize it also, let's close it now. I hope your concept will be clear about the inline CSS. Inline CSS means when you write uh, the style in the or, uh, H1 tag or P elements, okay, in the, in the HTML elements, when you write this type of codes like style equals to double commas color blue, 
So this is called the inline CSS. So let's come on our internal CSS. So internal CSS is used to define a style for a single HTML page. And internal CSS is defined in the head section of an uh, HTML page within the style element. The following example says the text color of all the H1 element on that page to blue and the text color of all the P elements to red. In addition, the page will display it with a powder blue background color. Let me show you what is the meaning of that. Means that uh, internal CSS means when you are right, internal CSS means let me show you. When you write your uh, style and when, when you write your style and in the style when you writing like here h1 should be color should be blue and then background color should be dark blue and color I am giving him to the white and border one pixel solid should be white shadow box shadow should be two pixels and then when you write here h1 and in the h1 you are writing here internal css so internal css means when you in the html in the html page when you writing here is style element and in the style element when you are writing here uh, elements of html and then you are writing here css elements so this is called the internal css when i save it and it should give me like this here you can see and when I go, uh, come here and when I write here body and here I am giving the background color will be black. Save it and it should give me this like this here you can see it. And when I give him to the text align will be centered. Save it and it so it, uh, it is coming like this here you can see it. Like that you can do it or you can give the font family will be monsirat comma sensor now save it and run it so it give me like this here you can see it. like that you can do it okay when you in the when you are writing in the in the html when you're writing it is style and in the style when you're defining your html element and in the html element when you are writing like css code like background colors will be black color white border box shadow text align font family so this is called the internal css okay now external css what is the meaning of external CSS? External styles is used to define the style for many HTML pages, web HTML pages. To use the external style sheet, add a link to it in the head section of each HTML. Okay. If you use the external CSS, so what you can do to use the external CSS, you only want to do it like you only go here and you link your file like a link. Okay, to do this, you only do uh, it, uh, you make your HTML, CSS file. Okay, you make the CSS file like rel styles, style sheet, as it will be styles or CSS. Like, then click on the file, then click on the new file. Then here, create a one file on in the document style or CSS. And please make your file there when where you make your HTML file. Okay then enter press then yes now here our html file has been uh, css file has been built it so when you are uh, linking your file okay when you are html when you are uh, linking your html file to uh, css so this is called the external okay then what you write here like if i write here h1 color should be blue background color should be black And sorry, here I am writing like white, and here I am writing like border. One pixel solid should be red. Font family should be monsi red comma sans And now, what we write here, we save it, and here I do not write anything. Here I only write our, our H1. Okay, H1 element. Now, when I save it and run it, so boom, here you can see it like that. So, if you want to give the background color, so body background color will be dark blue. Save it and run it. So, the dark blue color has been came. So, like that, you can do it, or text align will be center, center, save and run. So, you can see it like that. So, like that, you can do it very easily as during the external CSS. Okay. Uh, here I am writing external CSS. 
save it and run it so you can see it in so you can see it in today's video of the html uh, i told you about the three things in the html class i uh, told you about the css and i told you about the three things like what are internal css what are external css and what are uh, inline css i hope you can understand understood it okay inline css means when you are defining your uh, any element in the in that element you are defining your style like giving the background color color this uh, this is called the inline and internal means like in the html page when you are in the html uh, in the html code when you are making a uh, one element by the name of style this type of element and when you in this element when you are writing your code so this is called a what this is called this is called the internal and external means when you are make the file of css and when you are linking the html file to css file this is called the external okay i hope your concept will be clear about the in line internal and external so i hope you can enjoy this class if you enjoy so please like this video share your friends and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to all the notification bell also never miss over any future latest videos about the html so now I am using next class next video. I am using like the data about videos. So for today, goodbye.